Hey everyone, it's Jill the Wandering Stamper. Today I'm coming to you with a brand new stamp set that has come out, actually it comes out, it is out. Uh, it's called the Meandering Meadow Suite. It comes with some really fun products like these stamps, these pretty embellishments, they are dragonflies and birds, some gorgeous designer series paper, and of course, dies to bring it all together. So we're gonna do a fun fold. Um, you know, I don't even know if this fun fold has a name, but it's a fold that I find useful for lots of different cards, especially if I need a quick card to send out somebody, uh, Recently, someone had a death in the family and I wanted to send out a sympathy card, for example. And I could create this card in a few minutes and it's really, really pretty, um, but it doesn't take a ton of time because I was on a deadline to get, get it to my mailbox so it could go out that very day. So here's a fun fold that you can use for any kind of style card that I think you will like. And I hope you can join me today and stamp along. So let's take a moment to turn the camera down and we will get started on this card. Thanks for joining me today. So here are the products we're gonna be working with today. I'm so excited to get this. As soon as I saw this pop out in the um, online exclusives, I knew I needed to jump on it. This is the Garden Meadow stamp set. It's so pretty. It has pretty sayings and lots of little stamps, uh, little happy outdoor stamps. And if you purchase the suite or the bundle, you also get these dies and I love the dies because it cuts out this neat little sort of garden gate um, there is a gate stamp which will also uh, can be die cut and then there's a freestanding gate and it can be cut and then all of the stamps cut out and then it's also got some landscaping so there was a lot of thought put out into these dies and they really make this stamp set pretty special so I'm going to put these back in place. We're going to pull this one out because we're going to use it. Um, but yes, so these are the coordinating garden meadow dies that go with the garden meadow stamps. And then also they're, um, what are these called? I have another set of embellishments in them. These are the ad adhesive backs, dragonflies and birds, and they're they're gold and they're so pretty. They're a lot like the brass butterflies, which I use all the time. So these are super, super pretty. The birds fly in two different directions and then you've got the dragonflies and they go perfectly with this paper. And this paper is absolutely gorgeous. It's all scenes on one side. There's all kinds of beautiful scenes that you can do so much with. And then of course the back has some beautiful background patterns. So this, this is six by six paper, which I actually love because it's RV friendly for me. It's a little easier to store these than the 12 by 12s, but I love the papers with the scenes because they're so versatile. So let's get started. We are going to use this scene. I really liked it with the fresh freesia paper. So I thought we would work with that. I'm gonna set these out of the way so we can get started and I'm a little discombobulated today. I wanted to get this video done, but my um, son has is visiting Florida for Thanksgiving and came to see us today. Haven't seen him in a while, so that was kind of nice. So I'm now I'm trying to get back in the groove and get this video out for you. So to make this fold, let me show you what a finished card looks like. We're gonna make one very similar to this card. So this card is almost a card within a card. So it opens out like this. And as you can see, the scenery papers just work so well with this kind of card. And you can make it um, any way you want. Now, I have a basic recipe for this card that I use all the time. The only change I made is I made this middle piece just slightly larger so that this piece that we're gonna die cut will fit. So that, that measurement is going to be a little bit different. So just know you can make this as big or as small as you want on your card. You can adjust it for different sizes. It doesn't have to be the size that I'm going to show you. And this is just a standard card base size. So let's get started with that now. So I'm using fresh freesia. So I'm going to cut the base at five and a half by seven and a quarters inches. 
So I'm going to, since this is a whole sheet of paper, I'm going to cut the five and a half so that I could get two cards out of it because I'm all about saving that paper, right? And then this way, this direction, we are going to cut seven and a quarter inches. So now we have this nice little piece for later for something else. So now you've got five and a quarter, I'm sorry, excuse me, five and a half by seven and a quarter, all right? Now we're gonna score it at the three inch line. Not, and the reason we're doing this is because we want it to open with, so it's offset, okay? So five and a half by seven and a quarter scored at three inches. And then give it a nice little crease with your bone folder and we'll set that aside. Now the inside piece, the little piece that does all the work right here. We're actually going to, would normally I would cut that at four and a quarter by four and a quarter, but because this die that I want to use on it is a little bigger than that, I believe it is four and a half is what we're going to end up making this. Yes. So I'm going to do four and a half by four and a half just because I, I don't want this to hang off. And we could even go a little bit bigger if we wanted to. So I'm going to do four and a half. By four and a half. And then you're going to score this. Can you even see what I'm doing? So I cut this at, from, at four and a half by four and a half. And then you're going to score it at one inch. Okay, so then my die will fit a little bit better. It'll almost perfectly fit on there. So I just wanted to point out that's why I'm doing that. All right, so now we're going to fold this one in with the bone folder. And so then this is going to insert in your card. So you have one opening this way and one opening this way. I need to lean back in my chair today. Okay, so now the next piece we want to do is the layer that will go on in the inside of the card. So that's going to just be four by five and a quarter. I like to do as much of my cutting as I can ahead of time. Four by five and a quarter. That's going to layer right on the inside. And then we're going to grab our designer series paper and cut that. So what I like to do with this this paper is kind of figure out where I want this to be and it just so happens that this this particular piece works out really well to cut it out right here. So we're gonna get our die cutting machine out really quick and give it a spin through there. I know, let me raise my camera up a little so you can see what I'm doing. My, I just ordered new cutting blades. My cutting, my cutting blades are so worn out. I'm excited. I'll have to dig those out. I just got them yesterday. They're still in the box. So what I do is just put this on here kind of straight. It doesn't really matter, but I, I like things to be pretty straight because we're also going to be do, doing some cutting on this paper too. So I've got my die laid out. I don't even know if you can see this. My, as you know, my RV table is quite small. So it's hard to get it in the camera view, but I'm spinning this through my die cutting machine and I'll show you what that looks like momentarily. I'll get this out of the way. Tilt this back down. Okay, so I've die cut that out. I'm gonna take off my, I have it taped to the die using this fabulous post-it labeling and covering up, cover up tape. I have a link to that on my craft room must haves on my website. Um, so what we have now is this beautiful piece that's gonna look oh so pretty right here. So now we have the rest of this and we're going to do something with that. 
get these plates out of your way. All right, so with the remainder of this right here, we wanna create our layer for the side of our card. And that layer is two and three quarters by five and a quarter. So I'm gonna cut this at two and three quarters. And as you can see, because I put it right on the edge, it actually fits, which I'm very happy about. And five and a quarter. Okay, so we have this little piece and that's gonna go, look how pretty, that's gonna go perfectly right here. So when it's all together, it's gonna look like that. All right, so now I'm gonna do one more thing. I just thought of this and we're gonna try it out. I just purchased this um, Trio Punch. What is it called? It's called the Very Best Trio Punch. So it's got corner punches and then it's got this little slit. So if you're making tags, you can cut the corners and then you can make the little slit for the ribbon. So we're gonna use this little decorative corner. I'm not sure if you can see it on camera, it's shiny, but we're gonna go ahead and cut the two corners. I just think it's gonna add just a little extra focal point to this pretty little card. So now we have it like that, look how pretty. And so then when we layer this on like that, it's gonna look super nice. And you can leave that off if you want. I just thought it added a nice little accent to it. So we're gonna take this out of the way here. All right, now we're gonna start working on putting this card together. So the first thing you wanna do is adhere these two fresh Freesia pieces together. And what I've found easiest to use for this is tear and tape. You can use a strong adhesive, you can use glue. I just, I like the tear and tape because I can get it precisely on the edges. So I tend to go for the tear and tape for this. Glue will work or Stamp and Seal Plus would work too, if that's what you have. So I've got those two on there. I'm gonna grab my Take Your Pick tool. Can't live without, without this. I can't tell you how much I use this. It's just good for so many things and one of the things is lifting this tear and tape. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add this to the left side of my card and I'm just putting it along the edge of the card and sort of centered up and down, okay? And see the tear and tape makes it nice and firm. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add my layer here. And for this, I'm just going to use, I've got my Stampin' Seal Plus here, so that's what we're gonna use. You don't need a lot of it, that's for sure. It's very strong. All right, and then you wanna make sure you're facing the right direction. I've done that before, whoops. And I'm just gonna center this onto that left panel as straight as possible. Okay, there we go. And then that's gonna go over. Now, we have our inside piece, and I, I like to stamp it first because I don't wanna mess it up and then have to start over with everything. So I try to stamp first whenever I can. Get a piece of paper. Nice fresh piece of paper here. All right, so what I'd like to use is this saying, which says, I can't imagine having a better friend. And I'm going to grab, what color should we use? I think I'm gonna grab Knight of Navy. I can grab it here. Because I feel like, oh, maybe not. How about Misty Moonlight? That looks good. 
I think we're going to go with the Misty Moonlight. I was going to do Fresh Freesia, but it's a little light, and I want my wording to pop out a little bit more than that. So I'm going to ink it up and try to get this straight. without putting my head in the screen too much. All right, that looks good. Stamp off, we'll clean that in a bit. And then while I have the stamp pad out, I'm going to stamp Thinking of You right here on the paper. I think that'll be pretty. Um, there's several sayings that could go on this, but I like this one. So I'm just going to hope I did that straight. Yeah, that looks good. So see how pretty that is? And because Stampin' Up! does such a great job at matching everything together, that Knight of Navy looks perfect. Okay, so now that we have that on there, I'm going to do actually one more thing. I really like these little birds. Um, we're going to add these little birds. If I can find my... I'm going to use Memento ink to stamp these little birds because I'm going to color them in with some um, ink. Some of the, what am I trying to say? Some crumb cake um, alcohol base markers. It's been a day today, let me tell you. Okay, look how cute they are. They're so cute. I love birds. Birds are one of my favorite things. Being in nature all the time, we see a lot of birds. So I have my light and my dark crumb cake here. So I'm gonna just dab these, dab some color on these with the light. And these are so small, you really even don't even have to mess with the dark crumb cake on these. Normally, when I color, I add all the accents. But honestly, they're not very big. So I think we're just gonna leave them like that. They're super cute the way they are. All right, so that is done. So now I'm going to grab my adhesive. Little tip, when you're using your Stampin' Seal Plus, if it starts to move off to the side, it's because you're pushing too hard. I have a bad habit of pushing too hard when I use my Stampin' Seal Plus, and that's what happens. So now I'm just gonna put this in the middle. Okay, and look at that, I got a little ink right there, but it's fine. All right, and now we're gonna layer this piece on the front. You could use, um, this would be really nice if you popped it up with some dimensionals. You could also go one step further with this after you place this piece and punch out some of the stamp and punch out some of the other things that go with the stamp set like the wheelbarrow or some of the plants and it would look super pretty i'm trying to decide how i want to put this on here i'll do it right here like that look how pretty so pretty now i have this ribbon this ribbon is pecan pie it's sort of a I don't know what you would call this kind of ribbon, but it's like a linen. It's really, really pretty. And it's easy to tie a bow with this ribbon. So I'm gonna tie a little bow here. I am not the best bow tire. So it helps to have cute ribbon because then people are busy looking at the ribbon and not your wonky bow, right? Just gonna give that a little trim. These are not my good scissors, these are my sticky scissors, but I didn't feel like, so I actually, let me put it right here, I'm gonna make this tail a little longer and this bow a little longer. There we go. That looks kinda cute that way. It could also go on the side, it could go right here. It's just, you can't go wrong. All right. Grab one of my glue dots. I always look at my ribbon to see which is the prettier side and make sure that's sticking out. Anybody 
actually good at tying ribbons. Some people are really good at it. It's never been my my strong suit. All right, that's gonna go there, and I'm gonna give this a little bit more trim. I should get my good scissors out, but I want you to see that you don't have to get too worked up on the, the little details. Okay, get that out of the way. So this, this card really only took a few minutes to make. The last thing we're gonna do is get out these pretty little embellishments and let's add one of these little birds. We'll put one here and then we'll get one that's going the other direction. Put it here. And I'm gonna put a little dragonfly down here. Here we go. Super easy, super cute, super fun. So let's look at what we made. So here's our card, thinking of you. It's got a little sparkle, it's got a little bow. You can do the little edges or you can leave them alone. You could even stamp something or texture this piece to give it a little bit more um, wow factor if you wanted to. I've run these through the embossing folders before and given them a, a texture. Um, you could add a piece of ribbon here. There's so many things you can do, but I, I just think it's pretty this way. And then you open it up, you've got plenty of room to write your sweet message. So here's the one we just made. Here's one I made earlier and I used Moody Mauve. And it's actually not a color that was listed on this pack of paper, but I felt like it looked pretty. So I did the same exact thing. I only cut one corner, didn't add the bow, didn't really need it, and pretty much uh, stamped the inside the same. And then here's one that I made uh, using the He's the Man Suite. Love this stuff. This is going to be a great Father's Day card. I left the corners straight, added the embellishments that come with the suite, and stamped in, in the middle. It says, Every Day with You is Another Adventure. It's got camping. How appropriate, right? Because that's what I'm always doing. And it says, with, uh, with You, I'm Never Lost. So very easy card to do in minutes. Um, and it's a great masculine card. And then last but not least, here is a Christmas card. I had some Kindest Gnomes paper and stamps that, that were retired, but I wanted to get a little more use out of them and finish up that paper. So look how sweet he is. I love these gnomes, and I wish they would have come back. Um, but this is just stamped, and I used some Wink of Stella on his uh, beard, and I punched him out, and then used some dimensionals to raise him up and see as you can see I put a texture on this panel and die cut some shapes and then inside is the paper and Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year so as you can see these all all these cards are very very different but using this technique you can make them work you can make the panels different sizes you can use different textures make them feminine masculine whimsical everything works so I hope you'll find that this uh, card fold is something that you can always have in your arsenal as a good go-to card fold. Sometimes you want to make a card and your mind just can't really focus on any certain card. You're not sure what you want to make, so just go to this and see what you can come up with. It's really great. I will have all of the cutting instructions and products I use listed below in a link to my uh, website. And if you like this video, I will have one every Wednesday as usual. And if you like and subscribe and leave me a comment, I love getting comments that I can respond to uh, with all of my stamping friends. So I hope you enjoyed this card fold. I hope you get a chance to uh, do some crafting today. And thank you so much for taking the time to join me today. Until next time, I'm Jill, the Wandering Stamper.